Business owners don't wake up thinking, I need cool edits. They think about how can I get more leads, how can I save time, and how can I grow on social media with Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we will be creating this Reels using CapCut PC. All the assets that are used in this video are available on my WhatsApp channel. So let's get started. First, we need to create our background. So add our default text right here and increase its length to the length of your animation of your video. Now just double click on the text and press Windows and dot key at the same time. This will open the emojis and signal section. From here, just select the uh, scale and scale it up so that it fits the screen like this. Now, I want my background color to be white, so I will not change it. Then, right click on that uh, text layer and create a compound clip. Drag it now as our background. Now, next, I will create another text layer here and drag it to some extent. We will cut that later. Now just click again and scroll down, add another scare and change its color to blue, a darkish blue like this and increase its size. Now again scroll to uniform scale and disable it, adjust the scales and height and rotate it something like this 90 degrees. Bring it downwards here. I will just increase the scale width to some extent. Nice, and then increase the height. This now just create right click and create compound clip. Then go to video and mask section, add mask and add a film strip mask, rotate it like this 90 degree. Then simply click on mask settings, add a keyframe and drag the keyframe forward. This will be our last animation and for the start, just bring this right close, right here. This will give us this animation. Now just right click on keyframe, show all presets and use this cubic out. I will just drag this keyframe a bit closer to make the animation fast like this now go to media add our character go to remove bg click remove background and place it like this increase its scale now I will just add another transform keyframe, move this keyframe forward and bring this image down here. This will give us this animation. It's a bit slow, so I will just add a cubic out animation. Now it's looking fine. It's done now, it's time to add our text. Go to the fall text and add another text layer. I have written already all the text so I can save a lot of time. I will just copy and paste, change its color to blue, change our font, increase the font size. So I will place it right here. Now I will just add some shadow to it, decrease opacity and increase blurness here. Once that done, I will just apply a small animation. You can use a uh, fade in animation here and increase its duration so that it appears legible. I will just copy this text layer by holding Alt and dragging it up and just copy this paste it right here go to animation and i will use a bounce left animation for this one place it right here then go to this and i will choose an orange color for this now once this animation is ready like this now i will just add another another text like the character introduction so i will just increase its length here and cut where the animation ends 
right here and the game create compound clip now i will add another transform keyframe move a few frame forward drag it a bit to left and again a bit zoom in right here then select keyframe show all presets and choose cubic out you can just drag it forward to make this animation a bit slow it's looking cool now add our text where the animation ends so here is the character introduction so we just copy and paste and I'll change its color to black paste it right here just where our character is placed now this is the main name so I will just copy and other details just copy them paste it here and make them small so that it appears under the character again copy and just go founder one text again just copy here and drag it downwards it's looking cool now uh, now we will add our this text so i will add this into two or three parts i will just add another default text type in i change its color to black and change our font now just place this right here again copy and type in our next text i need and just i will place it right here for the next text i will just copy my for the next text i will just copy two edits and just right here paste it and drag the scale down like here so this gives us a tight to go feel look now let's add animations for this one i will just select all of them and go to animation or maybe my will use a swipe and increase of duration like this then for this i will just go to animation and add squeeze or you can use bounce left now once this done let's move to our next part go to where the animation ends now again just select all cut and just create a compound clip now go to effects and add a blur to it now next we will bring in our brain png so where the animation ends like here i will just cut the other part and put our brain remove background right here now i will go to adjustment and go in hsl increase the brightness and decrease the saturation this will go give us a black and white look so for our first animation i will go to video mask nad mask add a rectangle mask right here make it copy decrease the rectangle mask right here add another copy of it and just bring this downwards so where this ends and like this so this will give us this animation then again go to basic add another keyframe to the part move a few frames and drag this part downwards so that it cuts into three parts again do the same with others like this nab move a few frames move a few frames and place it like this make sure to not bring this a lot and another transform key frame move a few frames and bring this right here now once this done i will just use preset curves to make them smooth like this and then again like this you pick out Now where the animation ends I will just select all the layers and cut 
now you will add our text add the default text again now we'll, i will add our text add the default text right here where the animation ends i will just copy these lines so that i don't have to type it again and again change its color and font to something black and place it like here so i will add an animation to it make it like this so where the animation ends i will again right here and select adjust hsl and add these keyframes move a few frames forward bring this saturation and this back it will give us this animation right here again will animation ends lie right here and then we will again this select and bring it forward a bit like this increase its and here and just i will add keyframes we'll just add another keyframe move a few frames forward bring this back to the original size again copy the text how can i save time right here and copy this default text don't need to create another text and place it like here and i will just scale it down how can i save time then move here again bring this layer here where this animation ends simply drag it to make this large now i will just add another keyframes of hsl right now and move a few frames bring this back to its original and how can i grow on social media so i will just copy this text layer and bring it right here just paste it and drag it downwards so how can i just i will just add an question mark at this end so how can i just you can also increase its size as well so at the final we get this animation i will just drag the background forward make it big drag it i will just here and bring this forward at this extra part select text there drag them to this animation where the animation ends so at last we will get this result like this so if you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video until then take care and goodbye